for everyone that's wondering how to fix the on off leakage on your injection pump on a 7710 with a Bosch pump Denso Bosch this goes anywhere from a, onto a case tractor to a 4430 to a 7710 here's the piece that's what it is so pretty simple what happens is on the back side this screw comes loose or there's an o-ring underneath there that gets worn out and it starts to leak in, on the back side of your pump so in this case the bolt loosened off and a tractor wouldn't shut off so what we have to do is take these, four, these six bolts off there's six of them here sorry for the mess but there's six bolts there's all six of them. You take them out and then you're left with this inside. So to unhook the back cover you'll see that there is this tab. Get more better light for you guys. And you've got to do that while the pump is still hanging there's a spring in here. So this little spring, you see that little spring, you don't really want to stretch it past about there to unhook. But that little tab goes a little rail back in there that it hooks up to. So you can see just the hole right there that it goes into and the spring hooks up down below. I'll show you where the spring hooks up onto that. So your cup moves freely, so that's good. So you split her off. Usually on a tractor with a solenoid to shut it on and off, you just the solenoids in there, you take that out. Is what you do. Then that little art that little spring goes into a hole right where my finger is. You can't see it because it's too darn uh, dark in the shop here but it goes into that hole so you take a pair of straight long needle nose pliers take the pump pull it back undo that spring and then that also comes apart so this little tab which you see I can move it that little tab back in there comes down to there. So what you do is you take those straight needle nose pliers, pull her back, and then that just comes out. Once that comes out, then you take there's room to take your spring off. And off she comes. So you undo your bolt, it comes off. Um, there's like a spline system on it, a two lobed spline system on it. Pull that apart. Uh, Put all it is just an ordinary o-ring in there put an o-ring on tight tighten her back down i think torque was about 14 foot pounds or 12 foot pounds it wasn't very much going in there and then when you put her back together you bring her up take your long needle nose pliers hook your spring up again your rail is right there Flip the disc into that little hole, that little pin into that little hole. Flip your little retainer down, match her up. Meanwhile, you've got your your uh, governor here, and you bolt her back down. And it's about that simple. Um, usually, it's a pretty big job. They say you've got to take it into a into a, a dealership or an injection pump place to do that. So you pull your pump, you go, it's more work to pull a pump than to do this work right on a tractor. As you see, there's a loader on it. The loader doesn't even have to come off. You just crank your wheels. And um, it is not even that warm in here. And it is probably, where's the shop thermometer? It's zero. So it's not a big job. I'm thinking, oh, for an unexperienced guy, you can do a lot in two hours here. If I was to say that um, 
probably an hour and change you could get it all apart washed off uh, the only thing you might need is a gasket and the gasket goes around um, I don't use I don't didn't get a new gasket I was hoping this one peels apart nice and it did I put a little bit of uh, gasket eliminator on the on there when I'm putting it back together to make sure it doesn't leak but that's about how simple it is to pull your pump apart but yeah you can see right inside that pump everything's there there's that little rod sticking out and there's your spring hanging down so just be careful be a little bit a little bit neater than you have to be when you're working during the shop like I said maybe a pail to catch a little bit of oil kind of uh, parts cleaner and um, that's all it took and as far as tools a um, couple short extensions to get at the bolts quarter inch ratchet uh, 10 millimeter bolt and um, where the solenoid goes on in this it was a 7 16 bolt and then on top two 10 millimeter bolts again and 11 16 I took an oil line off here a lube line off off your motor to get in just to take the solenoid off and then the fuel lines um, I think a three quarter inch wrench or 11 16 takes all your lines off so basically for under 10 little wrenches and a couple sockets and a couple um, extensions you're just going to do a I don't know probably about a well it's a big job when they charge it at a injection depot but um, that's what it is it's not that bad to do so hopefully this helps some farmers out there that kind of have these mechanical pumps yet and uh, have a leak in behind that they're scared to take it in because they're gonna get soaked at a, di at a diesel shop but there you go that's all it is thank you